Go so I'm making a chunky veggie soup today. So I've just cut up all the ingredients. I've got like uh, turnip, sweet potato, three different colors of carrots there, some red onion that I'm going to saute with the mushrooms to start with, and there's some chili there. That's some um, pepper chili. Got some spinach, which I'm going to put in at the last moment, most likely. Got some potatoes. These are Kifla potatoes, which are really, really yummy. They're tiny little things, but they're perfect. Um, cabbage. Got some organic cabbage. It's all organic. That's it. I'm about to get into it. Okay, so first step, you got to saute the onions. You don't have to, but I like to do that first. And there's no oil in here. This is a non-stick pan. Okay, so... It's like an Enviro non-stick pan, not the standard one. So you just push those around and then we're next going to put in some mushrooms and some chili. Okay, so now you add the mushrooms and push them around a little bit, then add some chilies. You want to get like the moisture out and have them, you know, a little bit bronzed up. Okay, then we add some vegetables, some more root vegetables, add your carrots and you know sweet potato everything like that and carrots come first because they're the most dense you could probably chop them smaller than that as well and add some sweet potato push that around a little bit just so it's kind of coated with the um, onions and the mushrooms then put the good old potatoes in as you can see i need a bigger pot so what i did here was i poured out the, the mix into a bowl and then i mixed it up because it was just too hard in that small bowl to mix it so i had to take it out and just you know get everything that was underneath and just get it all really nice and combined and then i put it back on the heat okay so you want to have some water boiling already in the kettle because it's going to speed up the whole process so you pour it into the vegetables you want to cover the vegetables essentially and as you can see this pot is too small but you know that's all i had so i had to make do just pour it all the way in there and then you got to bring it to the boil well first before you do that you put in some tin tomatoes okay just one tin um, low sodium organic and it just gives it a nice color a nice flavor push that around so then you want to bring it to the boil and you can see that that yeah it's too high so it's going to boil over a bit but um that's the idea get it boiling and keep it boiling for you know maybe like about 15 minutes or so you want it to reduce down so you want it to boil and kind of simmer and then you add the lentils so the lentils could have been added maybe a little bit later because they kind of disintegrated into nothing but that's good because they're easier to digest that way so just push them in there oh it's super super yummy it was really good no salt in there or anything it's just i don't even think i'm going to put in these beans because they're like really really salty so yeah stay tuned we're bubbling away okay so i've decided it's time to add the parsley Look how beautiful this is looking. This is gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, little veggie soup. Where have you been all my life? Oh my veggie soup. You are so warming. I'm gonna let this reduce down a little bit. Something I forgot to add is coconut sugar. So. About a quarter of a cup. Okay, now chuck some baby spinach in there, a couple of handfuls. You only want to do this a couple of minutes before you take it off the heat because you don't want it to be overcooked. Soup. Oh my god, it's so amazing. This is really like the first soup I've ever made properly. And it turned out well. You can see how chunky it is. I love it chunky. I don't really want watery soup. I like nice and chunky. It's a big bowl. That, my friends is a big bowl. Here's half a lemon next to it. There you go. There's a bit of steam coming off. You know, if you really want it to be super tasty, you should wait until it cools down a bit. And then it's just heavenly, really, really yummy. And just finish with a squeeze of juice, lemon juice. So if you don't want to have bread, you can have crunchy lettuce leaves. Perfect substitute. Banana girl.
afraid, jerry san.